Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So this is just a quick video um, targeted at those who are doing Brass Monkey at the weekend on Sunday. One of NEP's target events this year. Probably now top five targets of the whole year. Um, and it's a massive opportunity for lots of us to gain a good PV or set a fantastic benchmark for the year ahead. So I've got down like seven things that I want you to be thinking about and doing and incorporating in the next three days to make sure that you get the best performance possible out on Sunday. So first one, obviously, your plan's going to be building this, but you should be dropping your volume by a good 20-25%. Okay, no extra running. Stick to your plan. Um, you should be taking chunks out your out your normal week. Trying to keep the frequency up, but just dropping the mileage in certain sessions and the density of intensity in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, do try to maintain the frequency that you do actually go out running. It's just taking a few miles off it, but your plan's in place for that. But... Um, it's just making sure that there's no heavy legs going into the race, uh, mus muscular fatigue is quite low um, and you're increasing your glycogen storage for a long distance race like a half marathon. Number two is the heavy lifting factor. Now most of us I know probably finished off our last heavy lifting on Tuesday, maybe some a little bit yesterday, um, but after now there should be no heavy lifting at all. Take it out completely, there's no strength benefits to be gained ready for Sunday. There is for the future but this race is important and take it out. Uh, so nothing at all other than a little bit of core maybe do a bit of core today uh, tomorrow don't do any snc whatsoever on saturday that's not including yoga of course um i would stick with the usual yoga routines on um tonight if you want um tomorrow, tomorrow's obviously recording but saturday maybe not a full yoga session maybe just a, a light stretching session you don't want to do anything too different um or too much of anything just keep it really small on saturday in terms of your last your last thing before the race um, some people prefer having a full rest, some people like a little short run and some strides. Um, personally, I like a short run and some strides, but do what's worked for you in um, lots of other previous races that have been successful. But yeah, your plan, your plan should put that down anyway. But if your plan doesn't, if you don't agree with what you're doing on the day before your plan, in terms of running or not running, um, do what you think. But nothing major, nothing more than 20-30 minutes easy in a couple of strides. Number three is your last little session, so today, Thursday, I would say it should be your last session before um, before Sunday, and I say a session, it's very much just a taper session. So you're looking at something like um, 8 times 20 seconds at 5k pace, or 6 times 30 seconds at 5k pace, with a nice, decent jog recovery in between. Just to get that muscle tension right, um, to make half marathon pace, feel nice and relaxed on Sunday, um, and getting your round to go, and not feeling flat by not doing any faster stuff before it. Number four, I've got um, stay away from lots of groups of people. Obviously, um, it's, it's a sad world we live in, but obviously COVID's like lots of different COVID cases on the rise and things. So you don't want to be um, partying or going out anywhere um, that's got massive groups in the next couple of days. It's something to be aware of um, and just be sensible. I think the last thing you want is to get COVID before the race um, or to be reeled out from it with isolation. So um, just be sensible in that. Um, number six is knock it down a gear at work if you can. So obviously, like um, most people, have got a couple of days left at work until Friday. If you can knock it down a gear, um, please do. Don't put anything extra on your plate. You want to be you want to be chilling out mentally and physically. So yeah, just bring bring that down a notch if you can. Number uh, next one is uh, sleep. So like you should be sleeping as much as you can now. You want a well rested body ready for Sunday. It wants to be relaxed. It wants to be fully energized. Rarely go to the task at hand. Good eight hours. Yeah, I was a night if you can, maybe more if you need it. Most people will be adapting from a big training block previously. So your body's still going to be quite tired from all the high mileage and big sessions. And you still need to get all those out of your system. Sleeping more is going to get that out of your system. Yeah. So look after yourself, guys. Every night. You don't want one night's bad sleep now. Every night needs to be good. And the last one is um, get positive. So surround yourself with positive people um, in the last final days. In the right environment to get yourself in the right mindset and get hyped up and ready for the task at hand okay you don't want to be dragged down by any negativity um so just be sensible in in um and how you're going about your life if you like in the last few days and getting that 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 head right some people like to keep themselves to themselves um some people like to be around others but yeah do what works for you on that matter as long as your head's in the right place but best of luck everyone for everyone who's doing um, brass monkey on sunday and for others who are racing this weekend um, I'm going to be tapering off a bit in terms of work, so um, if you want to hear loads from us, um, it's because I'm following these these points that I'm trying to tell you to do. Okay, so um, all the best, rest up, and let's attack it on Sunday, everyone. Best of luck.